What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys a breakdown of the Gears of War 4 launch trailer and uh, yeah let's get stuck right into it guys but uh, right away we see here we see kind of like a cutscene of Marcus kind of breaking down like what's happened like there's been 25 years of peace we see the locust dropping dead and what looks to be Adam Phoenix's device kind of doing its work right there so this is obviously a throwback to when Adam Phoenix's machine was set off and uh, you can actually see during this cutscene scene we get a look, good look at a cameo from Hoffman and Bernie uh, Matakai uh, you know ducking cover from all of the rushing Brumax and, and Locust forces so this is kind of like a throwback uh, to the original Gears of War 1 intro like it sounds very similar to uh, Queen Mira's dialogue um, about the Hammer of Dawn strikes and you know the humans destroying their own civilization in in uh, Gears of War 1 you know prior to that and then in the next scene here, we get a good look at Kate Diaz, who's kind of sitting, minding her own business, having a good look at, you know, the rest of the outsider village, just kind of, you know, not really doing anything in particular. And then she kind of notices something run by. You'll see her attention gets drawn by something, and it's uh, it appears to be a swarm snatcher running across a courtyard. And uh, then you see a whole bunch of hectic stuff going on. You get a glimpse of Oscar getting snatched. And, you know, Kate realizing what's going on and then a snatcher like jumps on top of one of a child asking for help And it does it seems like JD Kate and Dell just for some reason cannot help all of the outsiders that are getting abducted uh, by the swarm It just seems like the doors that they're behind here are just reinforced or something and they just know that they cannot do anything and then uh, you'll see a scene here where a swarm scion picks up Reyna by the head and throws her across the courtyard into a gate with a pretty hard slam and uh, then you'll see Kate shout out for her mother and the swarm scion then appears to reach out to Reyna uh, which seems to kind of indicate that she's being abducted by that particular uh, that particular swarm uh, soldier but then on to the next part, we've kind of seen these images before where Marcus is kind of sitting waiting for, uh, you know, JD. He kind of realizes that he's coming in asking for help. Um, and he's talking about that JD's kind of making the same mistakes that Marcus is making, like he's walking into trouble again. And then in the next scene here, you'll see a wind flare coming in towards one of the cog cities. And if you actually look really closely, if you look at the giant wall, it's actually moving to kind of meet and block a lot of the storm, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I knew that the cities were built up with the giant walls to protect from, you know, whatever's on the outside. So this is obviously kind of, uh, you know, the cogs countermeasure to the way all of the weather has turned on Sarah, which uh, seems to be a result of, you know, Adam Phoenix's, uh, you know, Lambent Locust countermeasure going off. So uh, that's interesting. It's interesting to see that the wall actually kind of rotates around the city to meet the storm. But then onto the next scene, we've seen these images before as well, where we get a good look at uh, JD, Kate and Dell and Marcus's armor. And uh, you'll notice in this cutscene, if you guys watch the trailer itself, uh, that Marcus actually held on to their armor and so if you guys know the story of uh, What went on there was a classified incident of like as to why uh, JD and Dell went a wall from the cog So they obviously went a wall and for some reason Marcus kept their armor So if you realize that you realize that JD and Dell were the only two to give armor to Marcus or however he ended up with it. So the third, fe so the, you know, the fourth female armor that's there, it has to belong to Anya Stroud because there was no one else uh, that, you know, there's no one else's armor that it could be. So it seems like that Kate uh, is adopting Anya's armor, which is interesting. So that kind of leaves the question, and we have been asking this question: Is where is Anya during all of this? Like we've the there's been some indications that she might be in the game. You know, there's a tomorrow Anya skin in multiplayer and stuff like that. But we don't really know what happened. Did she have like an off-screen death? Are we going to be told like that? Uh, via flashbacks or whatever like we have to wait and see but uh, on to the next scene here You'll notice JD Kate and Dell kind of looking out among what looks to maybe be a city of some kind It's just like overrun with all of these swarm pods and tentacles just like Absolutely like it just the best way to describe it is it just looks infected um, it's hard to really know what's going on here It's hard to tell what this particular location is, but I'm just kind of guessing that it's some kind of city for now, but uh on to the next part now we've actually seen this wind flare before in a previous gameplay trailer that was shown so looks like a swarm is kicking up as these guys are trying to make it towards uh, some kind of tower 
is uh, is what we know so far. And onto the next scene here is another image that we've actually seen before. And this is kind of like a regular thing that I'm mentioning, guys, that we have seen some of this before. But the theme of this trailer seems to really kind of uh, show us images of things that we have seen. And then as it gets to the end, it's kind of like more stuff that we have not seen yet. So, uh, but this is the scene where the swarm carrier kind of busts out. Um, to uh, meet our heroes, JD, Kate, and Dell. And so this is probably our first encounter with the Swarm Carrier boss. So this is probably our first like big boss fight in the campaign, maybe similar to the Corpser fight in Gears of War 1. And here is a good look at the Swarm Juvies. This is actually the reveal of the Juvies. Uh, you guys might have seen this as well. This was revealed uh, to be a gameplay trailer. You'll notice that the hallway is behind them there and they all come rushing down. This is like your first major encounter with them. But uh, onto the next scene here, we get like a good look at a bunch of Swarm just rushing the heck out of all of our heroes here. There's Marcus, there's uh, Kate kind of jumping over and, and JD kind of lighting them up. Uh, just getting rushed for whatever reason. I'm not sure if this is like our first encounter. And then here is the Swarm uh, Imago, I believe. He's picking up one of the rifles off of the corpse of a dead cog soldier. Um, so this guy is just after transforming from a juvie. You guys might have seen this cutscene before as well. Um, he jumped into the ground and transformed. And so Amagos, what's special about them is, is that since they are just fresh, uh, he's just after kind of figuring out that he can pick up a gun and that he can do what the cog soldiers do and, you know, what JD, Kate, and Dell uh, do, which is kind of a badass cutscene. But uh, on to the next part here. We get a good look at the DBs kind of lining up outside of, uh, it's kind of like a barn door. It seems like this is the part where um, JD, Kate, Dell, and Marcus are trying to escape from somewhere. Uh, you guys might have seen the cutscene from one of the trailers where they were uh, breaking out from behind some barn doors on motorcycles. So I think this is the beginning of one of the motorcycle missions in the campaign, uh, which is going to be epic. And the first time for Gears of War, there has not been a motorcycle in the game before. Playable motorcycle, that is. Um, but on to the next few scenes here. This is where you actually see them bust out like I was talking about. Uh, they bust out from the gate and on their way. I'm not sure if they're escaping from something or if they're headed somewhere. Um, or if they're just after raiding the cog to try and steal these from somewhere. It's uh, it's hard to really know at this point. And then we have a look at three swarm snatchers. This is our first kind of really, really good look at the snatchers uh, inside the campaign itself. Uh, I know we've seen a few bits of campaign gameplay where the snatcher was kind of taking Oscar away and you know you were chasing him down all that kind of thing but it uh, looks like they're ready to attack here I'm not sure if this is our first encounter with them after he you know they've abducted Oscar or maybe uh, you know something else but uh, as we continue on here you'll notice that this is the very moment where Marcus gets hit by one of these huge spikes like right in the arm and this is what I was honestly afraid of is that the coalition was gonna you know start like teasing and using Marcus to like to like tug at our heartstrings and you know it works it works it definitely works but man I'm so concerned about him I, you'll notice as we move on here is that he was hit in the arm there so badly and he's getting strangled by one of the snatchers here he's getting snatched and taken away an interesting thing is is that if you guys might have seen a uh, cutscene that was released exclusively from Games Radar. They they got the opportunity to record some of the gameplay at Gamescom. Uh, there's a cutscene where JD's kind of upset and walking around a room, and he's like really really pissed that somebody got abducted. And he's like, I can't believe he got abducted, and he's like, you know, just super mad. And I, I honestly thought it was Oscar that he was upset about, but it's obviously Marcus um, that would invoke that kind of reaction out of JD. So it's interesting to know that Marcus gets abducted. Like that's kind of crazy. I knew that. Marcus would be, you know, used, as I said earlier, to tug at our heartstrings, but this is just, this is just next level stuff right here, but, um, yeah, look at JD looking real worried there and stuff, but, uh, then there's a kind of an explosion there, some people were thinking that maybe Marcus blew himself up, but if you actually look real closely there when we slow it down, it's actually a DB grenade on the ground, it seems to be. Um, so no worries there. Or maybe just a normal grenade. It looks like just some kind of grenade. It's not Marcus blowing himself up. So just so you guys are aware of that. But uh, on to the next scene here. Our heroes are kind of looking at uh, some kind of, you know, building. They're just noticing that maybe uh, one of the snatchers went through there. And that's where they have to follow Marcus. Or maybe that's where something has come from. Or maybe this is the first time they're seeing, like, you know, the infected area or something like that. And then in the next scene here, we get to see... 
these huge, huge mech suits, which if you look real closely at the head of one of them, they actually look like Silverbacks. So uh, what I'm imagining is that these are like Silverback 2.0s that are, uh, you know, built and designed probably by Baird, you know, as a defense to all of these huge cog cities. Or maybe they were used for construction or something like that. Maybe the DBs piloted them like forklifts. Um, something like that, but who knows, and uh, then something happens there where there's a big lift, and I say lift, which reminds me of that there was a multiplayer map uh, in, that was revealed on IGN first called lift, actually, so maybe this is related to that, where, you know, they're moving up and down on this lift, and for some reason it collapses here, uh, it's hard to really tell why, honestly, but uh, then you get to see, this is the big thing here, um, we get to see this locust looking swarm he has his hand cut off you'll notice on his left arm is got he's got no hand um he's very very big uh and he looks like a grenadier like he has the shoulder pads the you know the arm pads he has the uh the strap going across his chest um but he's very very large and some people have made the comparison that this could be General Ram. Now you guys might be saying, wait, there's no, we've been told that there's no Locust in Gears of War 4, but the insane thing is, is that I have this theory, and I've mentioned this before, is that the swarm is like an infection. It's like a parasite of some kind that has taken host of dead bodies. You know, it can be anything, because you know the way when humans get abducted, they get taken and they get put into these pods and then they turn into juvies, right? So it's like an infection that takes over the over these bodies. So what I think this guy could be is is that the locust dead bodies were all put into burial grounds because the humans had no choice. And somehow this, uh, the swarm virus, we'll call it, developed. I'm not sure if it's via the locust dead bodies or if it's just something else, maybe as a result of Adam Phoenix's machine. But perhaps, you know, that just came about and it's, for whatever reason, it's chosen to take over the dead bodies of the Locust as hosts. And that's why these guys look so similar. But the huge speculation is that this guy is in fact a General Ram, which is absolutely wild and would be crazy. There is a few comparison pictures that I've seen floating around and uh, there is, there is similarities, I'm not going to lie, but... Um, it would be badass to kind of have Ram back again because he's definitely the most iconic boss of, uh, you know, of the Gears of War franchise and having him back would be a great way to kick off a new trilogy, having to face him again. Um, you know, it, it would just be absolutely wild, but definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this is Ram or do you think this is, like, this is just a Grenadier and it's kind of being used to kind of go, like, go, okay, yeah, these guys are definitely Locust bodies of some kind. Because if you notice, the armor that some of them are wearing actually have Locust symbols on them as well, which is kind of crazy. So, but yeah, this one's definitely been the biggest talking point of the trailer, I'd say. Um, and, oh my god, right? So, this one got me pretty hyped as well. Unfortunately, when I first saw the trailer, um... Someone tweeted a picture that he was in the trailer and it spoiled it for me. But we have a good look at Coltrane. He lets out his woo. He doesn't look too old now. I thought Coltrane would kind of be a bit grey looking. Maybe he is. You don't really get a look at his hair there. But he's letting out his woo. He's still running on whole grain. Uh, he's still piloting, uh, you know, he's still on the turrets and the in the cog helicopters in the ravens which is absolutely insane so it's great to have coltrane back another old school gear that has been revealed uh which is a huge reveal i know cole is an absolute huge fan favorite definitely one of mine as well so uh but on to the next part here we get a good look at uh one of the big mechs kind of lifting a propeller of some kind here uh, i'm not sure exactly what's going on there but um and then the next major thing here is this guy which is just Oh my god, like this guy is enormous. And now that I think about it, if you look in the background there, you'll kind of see a similar scene. You know, that bridge there to, uh, what you call it, when uh, JD, Kate, and Dell were looking out the window. This could be what they were looking at. Like maybe this is some kind of big swarm nest of some kind. But uh, my theory about this guy is that if you guys remember the end of the Gears of War 2 campaign, the way when the Brumac went lambent. I think this is kind of a similar situation except the Swarm version of that. I think this could very likely be a Brumac, uh, kind of a Swarm Brumac or something of that nature. Or maybe even a, um, 
one of the... What was the giant fish called? I'm forgetting what the giant fish was called, but maybe it could be one of those either, but you see all the tentacles sticking out and stuff. It's definitely an infected, messed up, big beast of some kind anyway, but it'll be interesting to see what that turns out to be. And then onto the next scene here, we get to see the plane crash once again, which is another image that we've seen before. There was an awful lot in this trailer to look at. I think the biggest point was probably the Grenadier slash General Ram looking swarm. It'll be interesting to try and figure out who this guy exactly is. If it is the return of General Ram, I'm all for it. It's something I've honestly thought about a lot. I've actually had this theory of the swarm being, you know, basically walking you know, walking dead locusts, uh, undead locusts. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. But uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys think that that's General Ram? Do you think that that's a Brumac? Do you think that the swarm are infecting dead bodies? Do you think it's a virus, some kind of parasite? You know, do you agree with that kind of thing? But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more Gears of War 4 content. I have been the Razored Edge, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.